I'm going to stop you right there. When was the last time you saw a video about Devin Booker? It's been a while, hasn't it? And the ones you have seen have probably been negative, from mascots to blown leads to being swept. It's not been the best few years for Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. The last few years have been a mess for the Phoenix Suns as an organization, and some of that has led to blame directed at Devin Booker, but outside of the narratives, Devin Booker is one of the purest basketball players, not just in the league, but in NBA history. Booker on the drive, Booker puts up the three. Oh, he puts it in! Booker, the stutter step, Christie will meet him in the front. Got it! Booker's three is good. When I mention the purity of Devin Booker's game, this is someone who has decent physical tools and athletic traits, but all of the best parts of his game are built purely around skill and a level of shooting that we haven't seen very often in NBA history. It's this mastery of the game, which is why he's been one of Team USA's best players through five exhibition games and one Olympic game so far, ranking first amongst all players for total plus minus. And look, I know plus minus isn't the best indication of impact over a small sample size, but it adds up if you've watched a book play. Just look at him on this possession, where he initially plays great defense against Franz Wagner, stripping him of the ball. He then leaks out in transition, and well... And a booker from Curry. And this is exactly why he's been so impactful for Team USA. And honestly, we should have seen this coming. Because following Team USA's loss in the World Championships last year, Kyle Kuzma made this tweet, stating that Team USA would need some guys who could do the dirty work. Guys who could trust to make an impact with limited on-ball opportunities. Devin Booker responded to that tweet in a very simple manner. And we've seen him stay true to his word, because through six games, we've seen Star performances from the likes of LeBron James, Steph Curry, and most recently Kevin Durant, but it's been the consistency from Drew Holiday, Anthony Davis, Bam Adebayo, and Devin Booker that has really kept USA afloat. But just to understand why Booker is able to play a role like this, we have to recognize what makes him such a great NBA player. In a league full of high usage, high possession guards, Booker can get his game off with or without the ball in his hand. Just look at this play, where Little gets into the paint initially. Book makes himself an option when he recognizes Little is stuck, and it's just that simple two-dribble pull-up for the easy bucket. Or in a play like this, where he's comfortably stepping into a three from nearly 30 feet out. It's not just his shooting either. Despite not being a crazy athlete like Anthony Edwards or Jalen Brown, he's a great cutter, leveraging that shooting threat he has to catch players back door. Like here, where he gets the pass from Nurkic and has the ability to contort his body and finish against Kispert. Or in this play, where RJ Barrett does a good job at denying the ball on the initial handoff, so Book cuts back door, and it's just too easy for him. Booker goes back door. Oh, Euro step left-handed layup is good. Beautiful shot from Booker. And like I said before, it's that shooting ability which just benefits his cutting. Like here where Tybal is expecting him to curl off the Allen screen, and Booker recognizes that, so he just cuts back door instead. It's his ability to have mastered every skill element of basketball that has enabled parts of his game that otherwise wouldn't be as good to be more dangerous dangerous, because obviously he's not an athlete like Jalen Brown or Anthony Edwards, which is why people were quick to suggest those two guys are better players than Devin Booker, but with all due respect to those guys, there's just a level of skill and poise in his game that those two don't currently possess, although I'm sure Ant will get there eventually. And this is now translated to play with Team USA, where he's just as comfortable running a pick and roll as he is spotting up for three or relocating off an offensive rebound to knock down a three. Just look at him here come off the AD screen, and it's just a simple one dribble pull up, which is money. Or here where he gets the ball swung to him, Lyles closes out aggressively, and it's that one dribble before banking it in, which just makes it extra sensual. <laughs> My bad. But you can't tell me a bank shot from that angle on the floor doesn't make you feel a type of way. And having this level of skill translates across teams and competitions, because this is just his off ball ability. 
ability. But if you were to make Devin Booker the focus on offense for Team USA, they would still have every chance at coming home with the gold medal. And anyone who says otherwise is hating. <laughs> because since 2020, D-Book is one of 12 players to average above 26 points per game. And the efficiency is much more impressive when you consider the difficulty of shots he takes and the fact he only averages around five to six free throws a game in that period of time. It's this reason why his performance can go to a different level in the playoffs, which is exactly what we saw a year ago, where he had one of the greatest stretches of shooting we have ever seen and will ever see. Most people remember the two games against Denver, but it was an eight game stretch where he averaged 38 points and eight assists on 63% from the field, 54% from three, and 89% from the line. 38 and eight on nearly 60, 50, 90 splits. And the shots he was taking, they were ridiculous. Booker. Look at him here in transition. He hits Michael Porter Jr. with a little hesitation before driving right into his body. And ooh, that finish off glass. I'm telling you, that makes you feel a type of way, which could be said for almost all of the shots Devin Booker takes and makes, because this sidestep three in Contavious Caldwell Pope's face is just nasty. Now, some people will point to the game six he had against Denver to diminish that playoff run. And let's be completely honest, it wasn't good enough for someone of his caliber, but it got to a point where Denver's only game plan was to get the ball out of Devin Booker's hands, sometimes even leaving Kevin Durant open as a result, like on this play where he's isolated against one of the best defenders in the NBA. He gets a step on KCP, and Aaron Gordon helps off Kevin Durant to stop the pull-up jumper. I don't need to tell you guys how much fear someone has to put in your heart to make you help off KD when you have one of the best guys guard defenders in the league on an island. And this also speaks to the evolution of Book's game, which we saw even more this year with the departure of Chris Paul, becoming Phoenix's point guard effectively, which I don't think is the absolute best role for him, but it just shows how versatile he is. As someone who can run 10 pick and rolls a game and be one of the most effective in the NBA at it, ranking in the 80 to 90th percentile the last four seasons as a pick and roll ball handler. Just for reference, not one of Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, James Harden, or Steph Curry has been in the top 80 percentile for the last four consecutive years. That's how good, that's how consistent he is with the ball in his hands. Yet he's comfortable playing a 3 and D role for Team USA because above all, he's someone who just wants to win. And just because D-Book hasn't won an MVP or isn't a freak athlete doesn't mean we should take for granted just how great he is. Because after seeing Jalen Brown win a finals MVP, you can't sit there and tell me Devin Booker couldn't be the best player on a championship team. Now, if you did make it all the way to the end of the video and want to see more content like this all throughout the offseason and just going forward, you might as well subscribe. I'm making content like this pretty much every single day. Dropping a like on the video would be much appreciated. And most importantly, have a great day. Bye.